fun because we are doing edible science experiments. Now I love science experiments. I think it's so cool to see the different reactions you can get and the fact that these are edible science experiments just makes it a thousand times better. Now an exciting part of this video is that it is a collab with my amazing friend Karina Garcia and Karina is going to be making edible Starburst slime which I'm so excited to see. I know it's going to turn out amazing. Her videos are always so perfect and creative. So after you've watched this video don't forget to head down to the description box and follow the link to her video and also while you're there don't forget to subscribe because you are going to love her videos. And if this is my first video that you're seeing, then hello! My name is Jillian, I'm so happy that you found my channel, and if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, then all you have to do is click that subscribe button. So I think it's time that we get scientific and do some edible science experiments. Starting off with some super delicious honeycomb, the first thing you will need is some sugar, and just add 5 tablespoons of sugar to a saucepan, and then also add 2 tablespoons of golden syrup. Then it's time to place the saucepan on the stove and heat this on a low to medium heat stirring continuously until it boils and then let it simmer gently for a few minutes stirring occasionally and you want to make sure you're super careful with this part because this is very hot. Now it's time for the most fun part of making honeycomb and it's time to take one teaspoon of bicarbonate soda and add this to the honeycomb and mix this in and then you'll see it expand and look all magical and fluffy and then you just want to quickly pour this into a flat dish and let it set. Now the reason honeycomb increases so much in size is because the bicarbonate soda reacts with the ingredients and causes these carbon dioxide bubbles, which are the bubbles you can see, and this is what makes it expand so much. Pretty cool, yeah? It's so much fun watching the honeycomb mixture expand so much and it's just, it's such a fun and easy experiment. And my favourite way to have it is with chocolate drizzled over the top or it's also really delicious on top of ice cream. Now for some sherbet, and I used to make this so much as a kid and it was always so much fun. The first thing you will need is 2 teaspoons of jelly crystals, so just go ahead and add this to a bowl. You will also need half a teaspoon of citric acid, 3 teaspoons of icing sugar and half a teaspoon of bicarb soda. So just go ahead and mix all these ingredients together. with sherbet actually happens inside your mouth and the citric acid reacts with the bicarbonate soda and together they make these fizzy carbon dioxide bubbles which feels so cool. Now one of my favourite ways to eat sherbet is to take a licorice stick and my favourite is raspberry and just to dip it into the sherbet and the licorice works perfect with it because the licorice is sweet and the sherbet is sour, so it's sweet and sour. Now for my favourite experiment which is the dancing worms. Now this experiment is not edible but I thought I'd include it anyway because you just need a couple of ingredients from the pantry and it's so much fun to do. So all you need to do is mix some bicarb and water together to make a paste and then add a couple of gummy worms and coat them in the bicarb and water paste and then take some vinegar and add a small amount and see all the bubbles start to form and then after a little while you'll see that the worms will start to move and dance around. I love watching the worms dance and the reason why they dance the way they do is because when you add the vinegar to the bicarbonate soda they react together and make carbon dioxide bubbles which are the tiny bubbles that you can see attached to the worms and when there are heaps of bubbles attached to the worms they float to the top but then once the bubbles pop they sink back down. If you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and if you haven't already please click that subscribe button for more videos don't forget to check out Karina's slime video there'll be a link to it in the description box thank you so much for watching and i will speak to you guys next time bye